Hi and welcome. In this video, we will learn how to import data from Excel to SQL Server. And we also discuss a common error which we face during the import operation. Here is my Excel sheet having three sheets, Employee, Product and Sales. So I'm going to import this employee sheet to my SQL Server. I have total five records here and the column names are present in my Excel sheet. I'm going to import this sheet or these records into my SQL Server. From there, I'm going to fetch the records. So basically, I'm going to create a table using this Excel sheet. Let's see a demo. This is my SQL Server instance. To import data from Excel to SQL Server, select the database. This will be your destination. So I'm selecting DB123 as my database. Right click on this, go to tasks, and then you have import data. You will get import and export wizard. So you have four different ways to open this import and export wizard. One is you can open it from your start menu. Go to start and type SQL server import and export data 64 bit. Open this. You can also open it from command prompt and SSMS. You can open it from here. I have shown you know. From here, you can open the wizard task import data. It will open the same wizard. Okay. And you can also open it from Visual Studio with SQL Server data tools. Okay. So here I have opened it through start menu. So I'm going next. Select the data source. My data source is Microsoft Excel. Browse the Excel path. This is my Excel file. Let me show you the Excel sheet. So in this Excel sheet total I have three sheets. So I have employee sheet, products and sales. Okay. Remember the name of this uh, sheet name. So here, when you go next, you have to select the destination. So my destination is Microsoft SQL Server. Go to properties and then enter your server name. Select the type of authentication. I'm going with Windows authentication and you can test the connection. Test connection is succeeded. Okay. Now select the database where you want to create a table. I'm going to create a table in this database DB123. Okay. Go next. Here, select the first option, copy data from one or more tables or views and go next. So here, you have the list of sheets that are present in your Excel, Excel file. Employee, product and sales. You can see the Excel sheet here. We have employee sheet, product sheet and sales sheet. So I'm going to select only employee sheet and I'm going to create employee table in my SQL Server. Here you can edit mappings and change the data type of your column. If the table is existing at the destination, you can check this tick box so that it will drop and recreate the destination table. Okay. And you can preview the columns and rows at the destination. So this is how it will look at the destination also. Okay. 
go next so this is your summary once you are okay you can finish the operation so i want to run this immediately if you want to save you can check this tick box and you can save this ssis package click next and finish you can see the execution was successful now let's check the table is created in the sql server or not so go to my database this is my database where i have imported my excel sheet data in that i have a table employee you can see the table has come let me fetch the details execute see i have all my five records that are present in my excel sheet see this is my excel sheet where i have five records and this is my sql server table records so this is how we import data from excel sheet to sql server i hope you have understood how to import your data to your sql server sometimes you might get an error let me show you import data file so once you proceed next and after you select the data source as your excel and uh, you will browse your excel sheet and then select the excel version and once you click next you will get an error stating microsoft dot ac dot oledb dot 16.0 provider is not registered on the local machine to fix this error you have to install microsoft access database engine 2016 redistributable i'll share this link in the description you can download it from there and you also need to check the version of your ssms and the excel i mean uh, both should be either 32 bit or 64 bit if ssms is 32 bit and if excel is 64 bit then you need to download the uh, 64 bit version in your machine and its size is around uh, 79.5 mb you can once you click next the file will get downloaded and you can install it i have already downloaded the application and i am going to install it in my machine installation is in progress it has been completed successfully now let me go back to my ssms installation is completed check if that works still i got the same error try restarting your machine and check if still it it doesn't work go to your start button and open sql import and export data 64 bit it will open the same window as we open here okay this will work for sure see it has gone through no error has been thrown okay in our next video we will see how to export the table results to excel file okay please check the description in this video for all the related links used in this video let's meet in our next video that's all in this video thanks for watching the video please do like share and subscribe for more videos